over here defending Diddy but bashing his daughter just cause she's gay. Hey. about Fanita and y'all are running that one up. Y'all don't even be understanding what y'all likes and y'all nice comments and subscribing and all that stuff really mean to me. Make me feel like, make me feel like, make me feel like the real queen, the real princess, period. Yeah, I love y'all. Keep supporting the channel. Y'all, today I wanted to come on here and show my complete entire ass and talk about Boosie because I hate him. But yeah, y'all, I want to talk about Boosie because I really strongly dislike that man and he over here supporting Diddy but bashing his daughter just because she gay. Let's talk about it. If y'all don't know, Boosie did an interview in the past speaking on his daughter and her sexuality because we all know Boosie got a track record of being homophobic as hell. From telling Lil Nas X to kill himself just because he got on live and said, y'all got a feature with Boosie coming. So I've been working on this song with Lil Boosie, bro. I had this song with Lil Boosie from to come out. Shit, fire ain't even, ain't even lie for it. Y'all know Lil Nice X be trolling, but yeah, he told that man he should kill himself. Or y'all know this man, Boosie, from always inserting himself in conversations about gayness. But that's a conversation for another day. Y'all, basically, Boosie's daughter came out as gay, and because everybody knows Boosie is so homophobic, they were asking his opinion on it. We're gonna love her to death. We're gonna love her, you know, we're gonna love her to death. But at the same time, it's... Our Southern, our family, it, it, it's never been that way. Hmm. You know, it's never been accepted. It's never, we got, we had a, my, our preacher, grandfather, grandmother, preacher, like, you know, like, but at the same time, she grown. She can do what the hell she want. And Boosie said he doesn't respect the lifestyle, but he gonna always love his daughter. I know what y'all thinking. I know what y'all thinking. Is this the same Boosie that said he had a grown woman sexually his son so he wouldn't be gay? I'm training them boys right. I'm training them boys right. Ask in them my, 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 my nephew. Ask in them. Ask my son. Yeah. They were 12, 13. They got hit. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, 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 I got my son fixed up. You f***ing right. <coughs> yes, a grown woman. Grown, super grown. But yeah, he spoke on his daughter in that interview. Daughter didn't say nothing. Done. Life goes on. Y'all, Boosie, for some reason, feels inclined to speak about the Diddy situation just like everybody else. But instead of, like, everybody else bashing him, he speaks in defense of Diddy, saying that Diddy is in jail for doing what every other famous influencer have done, every famous entertainer, flying girls off of sex. Prostitution is illegal. And doing it across state lines that the feds can prove is a federal crime. If you saying that you do the same thing, show proof so you can get a arrested too. He's really a nasty creep for bragging about doing that to his son. So time goes on, probably like a week or a few days. <laughs> Young Miami does an interview with Diddy where she asks him about his daughter. My daughter came out and told you she was gay. Mm -hmm. It was nothing. I mean, she still can't bring her situation to our house. My daughter is grown. But why? She's grown. Because I don't want it to contaminate her other. Oh it's, it's a generation we raised. I don't want her kids to, to contaminate it to her, her other six, seven sisters who look up to her. I want them to bring me grandchildren the right way. If I want grandchildren the right way, that's what I'm going to stand on. You know, if I don't want my other little girl to look at that and say, what's that, daddy? Contaminated to somebody she looks up to, <laughs> it's not going to come around. My grandfather didn't let it. My daddy didn't let it. And I didn't let it. Like, I don't think you can catch the gay like you catch COVID or something. Or I'm like, maybe Boosie thought like she would bite one of her siblings like a zombie type thing, like, and then they would be gay too or something. But yeah, Boosie daughter responded and the girl was obviously hurt. I feel like that was a shitty thing for him to say as a father. Okay, so he always speaking on my reality. The whole world know that. Um, And it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like, I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So, I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha, and he used the word contempt. And putting my siblings in it with that. 
If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers, you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a B word. When you called me a B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you. You and he understand. And no matter how you feel. At the end of the day, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. You can run your household however you want to, but using words like contaminate and stuff like that for gay people is horrible. A lot of people were on social media saying, oh, he didn't mean it like that. He just meant he didn't want them to follow in those same footsteps or think that's okay. Gay cannot be spread. It's not a sickness. It ain't the flu. You can't spread it through touching somebody or through somebody looking at your lifestyle and being like, hmm. If he don't want them to think that's an option for them at that young age, cool, that's cool. But saying stuff like contaminate is crazy. She said he lied about how he found out that she was gay in the first place. He said he didn't find out till social media broke it out. She said, no, something happened and you called me a gay bitch. And then he goes on and always speaks about her, but he speaks about her in a bad light on social media. Like, oh, I still love her. She's still my daughter. Like she killed somebody or like my whole thing. Y'all be over here defending these people who be committing these crimes and doing all of this and then y'all be sounding exactly the same when y'all talk about how somebody in y'all family is gay like oh it was a sad thing we had to go through but she knows we still love her even though she does things she does like she back there killing people or something she was mad because she felt like he could have not answered the question rephrased it but instead every time he chooses violence and he chooses to step up and show oh this is not what i like this is not what I allow in my family. This is not what I mess with, even though that's your own daughter. He also claims to be a Christian and said he won't accept that into his lifestyle because of that. But the daughter said he ain't never taking her to church. And I feel like that is 90% of black people. Y'all don't go to church. Don't read the Bible. Don't even try to better yourself within the Lord's light. But still over here judging people and being judgeful and being like, oh, I won't allow this because I'm a Christian. But you're not living a Christianly lifestyle. And then you telling people like Lil Nas X they should kill themselves just for trolling online just because you don't like him because he's gay, which is a crazy reason to not like somebody. And also, Boosie, Christians do not do what you do or defend the things that you're defending. Like, it's so crazy to me that this man really had his son, like, sexually assaulted, bragged about it, over here defending Diddy, but bashing his daughter just because she's gay. And then he continued to be a fool and a joke on social media, to me at least. Anyways, y'all, that's all I got for that. I really saw that situation and wanted to speak on it so bad because it made me so sad seeing that girl crying like that. He did end up apologizing, but I didn't really accept the apology. I know it ain't for me, but I didn't accept it. If I was her, I would really just cut him off and not speak to him again <laughs> and he getting oh he gonna need you for you need him like do not waste your life waiting for a man to accept you i don't even care if it's your daddy like it is what it is anyways y'all like comment and subscribe love y'all down love y'all the hardest bye y'all i'm absolutely begging for change yes i am no ma'am no ham no turkey this is how i've always acted i was a big body nasty wide back ugly fat don't Yo! The takedown of black masculinity needs to be studied. Talk about my son's sexuality. A five-year-old. It's weird. A five-year-old. It's so creepy. Like, even though he's a child and don't have a sexuality yet. Just look at my shoes. Hey, hey. Get in the munchies. I think I have a rat bitch for my entree. Ah!
Let me sign <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> These bitches trying to play catch up. Never let no hope check me. Yeah. Never let them take nothing from me. Never, 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 ever. A bitch get red like a letter. She thinks she bad, but I'm better. These bitches trying to play catch up. 